we're gonna give away over a thousand dollars to one of our subscribers so go ahead and subscribe right now why are we giving a thousand dollars well this is what happened during the video we're gonna calculate how much each plugin that i'm showing costs and then at the end of the video we're gonna give away that money to someone that has subscribed but you have to subscribe to this video within five days five days of this video being published most likely i'm going to fail but i'm try to I'm gonna try to record this video in about 20 minutes when this gets here that's what's gonna happen usually it takes me longer than 20 minutes and today's video is a long one we're gonna be talking about how to make timpani sound aggressive i'm gonna put this here so you can sort of see how much time is left now before we start and i've said this many times um we're gonna start with a little bit of eq then we'll add a little bit of analog saturation and then finally a little bit of compression that's what we're gonna be doing but the biggest difference is gonna be the eq the title of this video is how to make the timpani sound more aggressive and we're gonna apply a specific eq to make it sound more aggressive that doesn't mean that you have to copy the exact frequency and the exact setting that i'm going to show that is what works one for this specific sample for this specific library for this specific patch and two for the goal that i've got in mind this is sort of like an action cue and i need it deep to sound more aggressive but that doesn't mean that that specific setting is what you have to apply to your timpani sound to make it sound better you know it's more aggressive the making it sound more aggressive idea works great for the style of music that i'm working on that i'm composing if it was a different style if it was a different cue most likely i wouldn't make any change it works it just works great it's a good sample in my opinion so the first plugin that i've got is the j37 it's a tape saturation it's a tape emulation and um, i'm gonna get there in a second let's just start with eq instead because that's the most important one eq there are four things there's first the, the j37 eq compression and a little bit of reverb eq is the the one that makes the biggest difference so we're going to start with that oh this is the before and after this is the timpani track this is the j37 the eq and the compressor and here's the reverb send let's start with this bypass without with without with and then if we add the reverb Let's start with the EQ. This is the EQ. Forget about this one here. Let's focus on this one and this one. I'm always super afraid when I'm about to draw something here because this one is the one for the whiteboard. This one is permanent. This one, and it's around, and one day I'll do is like, here's the frequency. Ah! But hopefully this won't happen. All right, so as I've said many, many times, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of a little bit at around 250 because we want to make this sound more aggressive right and again if you've watched the earlier videos i've said this many times already before we reach for the high frequencies to make it sound brighter or more aggressive or to add a little bit of edge or definition instead try and find if there are some frequencies in the muddy area that are making this instrument sound duller and see if you can cut a little bit because sometimes those are masking some of the higher frequencies and by getting rid of those all the time we start hearing that instrument with more clarity and edge so that's what we're gonna do so this is the 244 250 cycles without bypass active i'm gonna exaggerate this so the difference is obvious so without one more time with it sounds way more clear now here we would be cutting too much that is minus seven i was cutting 2.5 now this is kind of like the standard one right getting rid of some of the muddiness when we activate this one this is super cool because it makes it feel a little bit like we are accentuating the mallet a little bit i'm gonna be bypassing just this guy here without with there you go without with Whoa. i'm gonna accentuate it even more now it was 1.5 now it's five it's crazy but without with there you go with these 2200 cycles for this specific sample in this specific library ah oh, it adds so much one more time
or I'm gonna bring it down to 1.5 or something like this. And finally, we've got this one. This one is just making a little bit of a space for the other low instrument. So it's not a big difference, but it's meaningful because it's gonna create space for the other low percussion instruments. So I'm going to bypass the entire thing without, with, there you go, without, with, without, so I'm gonna bypass it here now. I'm gonna start bypass and I'm gonna activate it here now. All right, so that is the main thing. That is, uh, that's the main thing. The other thing that we added was J37. I'm gonna show this. It's this guy here and you'll see, basically it will add a little bit of size. It will make it sound bigger, warmer, richer, all these words, but basically it just sounds a little, I know, I know. It just sounds a little bit better. Without, with, I'll activate this halfway. It's very gentle, subtle, but meaningful. The third thing that it is more noticeable and um, a little bit of compression. Now, if J37 or the tape emulation just added a little bit of richness to the sound and the EQ added a little bit of aggression and definition and edge to the sound. What the compression is gonna do is it's gonna add a little bit of intensity. That's what we want, a little bit more of intensity. So I'm using this Chandler limiter. You can use any other, but I like this one for percussion. So without, with, and I'm gonna now activate it halfway. So I'm gonna start by past here and I'm gonna activate it here, by past. And finally, I added a little bit of reverb, this guy here. This is the Waves H reverb. It is the medium hall preset. I like this one for percussion, but I don't necessarily use this all the time. But in this particular piece, I had a different hall reverb for the orchestral melodic instruments and having a different one for the percussion makes the percussion distinctive and separates the two main elements. It's a great way of adding interest and richness to the mix, having different reverbs for different groups. All right, so one final time, everything bypassed. And with everything in. Now I'm gonna start with the plugins bypassed and I'm gonna bring them in halfway. And in context, without. With. Hell yeah, it just matches the rest of the instruments much better. It's a great sample, it's a great sample library. I love it, it's outstanding. This piece in particular, which is action, aggression, we are treating each one of the instruments in a way that enhances what we are trying to do musically and sonically. Without, with. I just realized as I was activating and deactivating, many of you maybe are thinking, good for you, you've got all these plugins, you've got all these libraries, makes sense that your music sounds good. Um, I don't have access to all this. So I just I just came up with this idea. I don't know if it's a good idea. Once in a while, not, not in every video, because it would be too much money, but we're gonna calculate how much each plugin that I'm showing costs. And then at the end of the video, we're gonna give away that money to someone that has subscribed. But you have to subscribe to this video within five days, five days of this video being published. So the plugins that we've been using in this video is the J37, which is $299. Then the FabFilter Q3, which sells at $179. Then we've got the Chandler Limiter, which sells at $299. And finally the Waves, H reverb that is listed at 349. The J37 and the H reverb from Waves usually have a big discount, but let's just put the listed price of 299 and 349. All of these adds up at 1126. So we're gonna be giving away $1,126 to one of you. So go ahead and subscribe right now. Within five days of this video being published, we will 
select the winner of this giveaway. All right, that's the end of the video. I hope you found it useful. Just to clarify, the giveaway is it's not the plugins, it's the money in cash to one of you, to one of our subscribers. And you have to subscribe within five days of this video being published. Other than that, if you wanna learn more about mixing orchestral music, we've got an entire course with Dennis Sands, Hollywood Mixing Engineer, Avengers, Alice in Wonderland, Back to the Future, and hundreds and hundreds of Hollywood movies that he's mixed. We've got a course, it's more than 20 hours of content like this. So check it out, link in the description, subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, bye.